here on Genius, um, our Indie Talks. Today we're going to be sitting with no other than the beautiful T-Honey, aka Lips Lethal. Um, we're going to be having a one-to-one -one conversation. I'm super excited because like she's here. Um, so I'm going to pull you in in a minute. i um, just going to let people start coming into the room a little bit. So you guys, you already know, um, I'm super, I'm always every week super excited about these conversations. Uh, I'm super excited to have this conversation. So much to touch on, new music, um, and, and all the above. So, guys, you know, definitely look out. All right. Let's see here. Request now. All right. So. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Oh my gosh. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good, beautiful. I love <laughs> that smile. Yeah, it's okay. Um, so uh we go ahead, we'll just we'll start and as people come in, they come in. Um, you know, so guys, you already know it's another Thursday Indie Talks. Um one of your hosts, Aisha Lewis Redway, and my beautiful co-host Danielle is not here today, but she will definitely be joining us in the comments. Uh, we have a very special guest. Like I said, I was doing in the introduction. Um, you know, I'm 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 super excited to to talk to you and hear your story and you know you have a lot to say <laughs> um and i'm 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 just as a woman, you know, it's definitely with being Women's History Month, you know, like I said, we represent Black History Month every 365 and we represent our mm -hmm. Black women 365. So yeah. thank you so much for doing what you do, Queen. Thank you. <laughs> so, <tea honey. laughs> thank you for being with us today, aka uh, Lips Lethal. Yes. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, thanks for having me. <laughs> no problem. So let's jump into it. Oh my gosh. Um, you know, definitely, I know you're from Connecticut, so you're from around mm -hmm. the way, you know, <laughs> uh, tri state area, big up. Yep. Um, talk about being from Connecticut and, uh, and, and really gearing the path in the music industry and, and, and really coming on a rise. Yeah, um, there's a lot of talent out here in Connecticut. Um, and, you know, I just think out here we need to work together more, you know, to kind of move the state itself. But we are right next to uh, the mecca of hip hop, New York. So me, myself, you know, I used to be out there a lot performing, um, you know, definitely grinding out there a lot in the clubs. Um, and, you know, it's just bringing a presence out there, working with different DJs and stuff. Um, I'm originally from Arizona. Um, I have a lot of family out there, but, you know, I was born, I was raised in Connecticut. So, you know, just doing my thing out there. All right. So talk about you, you know, definitely Connecticut right next, like you said, right next to the heart of, mm -hmm. of music, which is New York City here. We have where we have so many big greats, um, you know, basically start their careers here. Talk about, you know, what influenced you to really start and, and, and get into music because you have a lot of history. <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> um well what really got me into i started with poetry um you know i use that as like a therapy tool just writing you know a lot of feelings and stuff um and then i incorporated uh beats with that my cousin used to come over with just listen he used to just listen to beats so i'm like let me hear you know so i started writing to it developing songs and stuff i used to have like a little group with my sister and one of our friends <laughs> You know, we, we played around with that. Um, but then I ended up taking it more seriously. Um, you know, just, just putting a lot of content together and writing. So that's okay. how it kind of started. All right. And um, one thing about it, you talk about like with writing, because I've, I've listened to 
you know, your music. I mean, um, you know, and, and like I said, I always say this every show. Anybody that knows me uh, with music, I listen to lyrics first and then everything else kind of follows um, into play with me, um, you know, production and everything. Talk about, you know, with, you know, the mindset and the, the space that you get in with songwriting, um, because I know you have a story. And we'll, if you don't mind, we'll get into that a little later. But I want you to kind of take us, walk us through when it comes to your songwriting and how you're developing, um, you know, your craft. Um, when it comes to songwriting, I write a lot of content based off of like my life or even the lives around me. Um, so a lot of it is, is fact based. Um, and so when I'm writing, it's, it's really like based off of what I'm feeling at that moment. So um, that's how I kind of construct my songs and get my concepts together. A lot of it's based off of like my life <laughs> and how I'm feeling. Okay. All right. And so, of course, we, we you know, you got a single out. Relax me. We 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 got you are an entrepreneur. Um, first of all, I, before we get into that, I want to know how you got the nickname <laughs> 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 Lips Lethal because I I can assume why, but I want to hear that from you. <laughs> <laughs> Lips Lethal. Um, basically, you know, I'm lethal with the bars. You know, mm. my lyrics. Um, whatever I'm spinning on my mouth is fire. You know, so I, I rode with that um, when I first com started coming out with music, um, Lips Lethal. They'd be like, yo, you got lethal lips. I'm like, yeah. So, you know, I kind of rode with that. All right. All right now. Um, so talk about any, like, you know, just this path that you're rolling, you're, you're walking down, not rolling down, um, of music. You know, mm -hmm. talk about, you know, there if there what positive experiences that you had that even that motivated you even more to say, hey, oh my gosh, I have no choice but to pursue this. Hmm. Yeah. So um just or negative. It whether if it's I, I, either positive or negative, because sometimes yeah. even the negative influences can be something yeah. that turns into a positive light like, to help us mm -hmm. get to our path. So <laughs> um yeah, so I mean it was both as far as music and just really wanting to go forward. But I think um, music just brings another side of me. Um, and I'm able to, I love being able to express myself. So that's what music does, whether you're on stage performing, whether you're in the studio. Um, for me personally, I'm just able to be expressive. And so that's why I really like music. And that's why I kind of said, you know, my first show um, I performed, I was like 17. I was in a 21 and up club. They got me in there to perform. <laughs> And um, I remember I only had like a two hour notice, like, oh, you about to go perform. I'm like, huh? So that broke the ice. But, you know, once I did that show and the response that I received, I was like, all right, well, maybe I do have something here. And so that's why I kind of, you know, from there just grew and, and developed. All right. And, but, and with that being said, you know, you, that you said being on stage, it broke the ice. Mm -hmm. What inspirations did you have, um, you know, whether it's, you know, musically or personally that mm -hmm. said, you know what, once you got on that stage, like, oh, this is somebody that, that can talk to me in my down days and just keep me going. My phone is bugging. Uh-oh. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Happy Women's Month as well. Can you repeat that question? Oh, yes, yes, yes. So I said, you know, you were talking about the stage it breaking the ice. Um, talk about, you know, your major like inspirations, whether if it's musically or personally that say, you know what, this is what keeps me going, you know, even in my my down days. Who yeah. is that? Or what is that? <laughs> yeah, uh, definitely. Um, you know, because music is, there, is therapeutic for me. So definitely just going through um, life experiences of, you know, whether it's feeling down or you know, whether I'm feeling really good and I want to express that through writing or poetry. Um, but it's really based off of what I've been through. And again, you know, just like how I'm feeling. So if I'm having a good time and, you know, we're just we're just feeling good, then that song will probably come out that way. Um, but I talk a lot about how I feel. <laughs> and that's amazing. I think one thing about especially when you're songwriting, um, you know, it, 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 it it's a it's a pouring out of the heart. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and definitely putting your your truth and your, you know, your feelings, all your emotions poured into a song, which is and I think what makes it so pure and so genuine and, and authentic for enough for our audience to really, you know, listen and pay attention to. 
um mm -hmm. you know of course you know we got some some bops or whatever that some mm -hmm. come things are just like yeah you know but <laughs> yeah. I, I think that that when real artists and this is my opinion i feel like with with purely rare rare artists um mm -hmm. that have this musical just body of work um mm -hmm. and that pours their all into um just what they into their music i mean it's just something about that music that just stands out completely more yeah i have to agree it's like um i think when you write things that are that people can relate to that that mm -hmm. adds to it as well it gives it substance purpose you know right. um so i think that counts all right mm -hmm. so of course you know we are, I'm, I'm ready to get into it so you have your new single relax me mm -hmm. and and um i know you've been doing everything every interview across the world congratulations on your um your magazine uh and sheen um oh, big up to them um talk about relax me because this actually comes from your story Mm -hmm. And you talk about uh, bringing awareness to domestic violence, mm -hmm. uh, which is amazing because we had last week, we had a guest on um, who talked about, you know, being raped and mm -hmm. um, going through that process. So mm -hmm. I, I, I want you to please, if you don't mind, just share that story and then talk about your single relax. Relax yeah, me. Um, <laughs> no problem. Um, yeah. So basically, um, I'm working on a project called Life on Paper, and um, I just wanted to bring awareness to domestic violence. Um, you know, dealing with it myself um, and still going through the process of healing um, and just like honestly getting out of it and going through the process of healing um, and working with my support team. You know, I definitely agreed and found it therapeutic to talk about it, but I also wanted to bring awareness to it because um, right now, you know, during the pandemic and everything, the domestic violence rates has increased, you know, especially during quarantine and stuff. So I just find it important to um, help people because I'm hoping through like sharing my story that someone will recognize a sign and say, well, man, you know, because sometimes when you're going through abuse, you don't see it for what it is until you're out of it. Um, and, and there's so many different forms of abuse. So I think it's important to shine light on it. And so Relax Me is, is a record that I put out basically saying I'm stressed and I need to be relaxed. And, you know, you can be relaxed in many different ways. Um, you know, it depends on what you want, but um, that's kind of where that record goes, and um, you know, it's gonna it's gonna develop from there. And so the project, um, every song is gonna be like a journal entry. So someone has a diary mm, and they write like day that. one. So that's basically what it's gonna be for me. For probably the past two years, I'm gonna kind of bring everybody into um, you know, my life. Um, and I'm not gonna I'm gonna be raw with it. So <laughs> oh, listen, we. We won't want to expect anything less, you know, especially <laughs> with sharing something so deep. Um, talk about, you know, when you, because I, I, I kind of, I don't know, maybe this may be weird. I don't know if anybody ever asked you this. I, talk, I looked at the cover art that you chose. Mm -hmm. You know, you had a cut, quite a few items in there. And, mm -hmm. and, and, and talk about that relation. Was that something personal in which you chose the, the detail in that cover art for that, that track? Yeah, uh, definitely. Um, you know, there's a wedding ring in there. You know, there, there's a baby bottle. I have four kids, um, you know, the, in the wedding ring. And if you look at the image, like you said, you kind of looked at it and it shows that, you know, it, it's kind of run down. It, it's basically ruined. Like, you know, you got these beautiful items. I think it's a watch in there and all this stuff, but it's yeah, ruined. Flowers. Yeah. And so that's kind of the angle it looked at. You have this beautiful, you know, we have a beautiful family and it's ruined, you know, um, because of that. And, you know, it's sad at the end of the day. And that's where the rain comes in it. Oh man, I, I I thought that was such a good, uh, tasteful way of of putting that, and and I was just like, oh wow, the imagery, and you yeah. can think of so many different things, and 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 but the way that you that's it was amazing. So I definitely wanted to bring that out. Definitely, <laughs> thank you. Um, so what what would you say was the toughest part in developing? And now, so you said you got the new EP getting ready to release, um, mm -hmm. Life on Paper. What mm -hmm. would you say would be the most difficult part about creating this body of work of yours to, to say to really express your story about domestic violence and you know in in your family you got you say you have four beautiful probably beautiful you know smart children that yeah. you know adore you and you know want the best for you so talk mm -hmm. about that not only from an artist but also just from a mother standpoint yeah um from a mom standpoint you know it, it's tough to talk about it hurts but um you know, having to explain it to kids, 
you know, that are young and explaining it and making it make sense when you barely understand it and don't know, you know, why it doesn't make sense. So that in itself is difficult. Um, but the way I go about things is, um, you know, first just thinking about it and then figuring out how to express it. So when it comes to the project, um, you know, I think the hardest part for the project is going to be honestly releasing it, um, not even writing it, you know, just releasing it to allow other people to come into my personal space, so to say. So uh, that'd be the toughest part. And I, I commend you because you, you're an amazing writer, first off, you're an amazing Thank artist. You. Um, and, and I encourage you to definitely keep going, keep doing what you do, um, and, and round of applause. Cause you know, I th really, I back you when I feel other women, um, definitely need to hear this story and, you know, mm -hmm. this will inspire someone to say, you know, what? I gotta get up out of this or, yeah. you know, move forward some kind of mm -hmm. way and, and, and know that I have a light at the end of the road. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I know you also, you're working on visuals. You have a lot. First of all, you know, so guys, <laughs> for those who are tuning in, we are sitting with no other than Lips Lethal T, honey, okay? <laughs> um, and, and amazing artist. She's a mom. She's an entrepreneur. She's pursuing it all. So I, and we just got done talking. She has an upcoming um, EP that's getting ready to come out, Life on Paper. I love the, the gist of the fact that you said it's going to be a journal, like journal entries, the diary. Um, yeah. I, I love that. And, and guys, if you have not gotten the single, Relax Me, please download it, stream it, buy it, support, please, our Black artists. <laughs> please, 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 please support our artists. Um, I, I, you, 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 you have an amazing, uh, you know, work ethic. You're an entrepreneur, and I want to go into that. Okay. You are the founder for uh, Star Music Radio. Mm -hmm. um, and also you come working on getting ready to work on film and, and TV and things of that nature. Talk about developing that this, that part of the business. And really, because I, I, I heard I got her a little tea, you getting ready to do an animated series. You know? <laughs> I don't know if you can talk fully on it, but give just mm -hmm. give us a walk and, and really, first of all, coming up with these, these endeavors. Yeah, so... Um... I own Star Music Radio Station. Um, that came about, honestly, to find a way to get my music. Uh, okay. All right. It, it won out. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. I can hear you okay. now. Yes. Um, sorry about that. All right. No oh, yeah. So Star Music Radio, I put that station together, um, and that developed because I was trying to find a way to release content. So... Back then, it was harder to get on um, your local mainstream radio. And me, you know, and other good indie artists, you know, you either got to cough up a lot of bread or you got to figure out another way to get on there. So I was like, why not just come out with my own platform to get this music released? And that's kind of how I went about it. And, you know, it's just to really uplift and support um, indie artists and indie brands, you know, of that nature. Um, and that's how Star Music Radio developed. All right. And and talk about the film aspect, because you're getting ready to transition from not only just working in radio, but mm -hmm. film, TV, and, 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 and what got you actually interested um, in really working in that area? Oh, yeah, with uh, acting. So Star Music Radio, first, we're going to release um, a TV network. It's called, it's an OTT VOD system. So it's like a Netflix, but it'll have music that you'll be selective with, like Spotify and um We'll have audio books, a whole like bunch of different things on here for entertainment purposes. Um, so we're getting ready to release that. That's going to be a branch of Star Music Radio. Um, and then as far as like TV and acting, um, I got into that. I did a couple of roles. Um, some uh, I did an indie role. I was an assassin, and I played that role. I was like, I really, I like this. You know, acting's fun. You know, so um, <laughs> then I got to play an extra in Righteous Kill with like uh, it was Al Pacino, Robert De Niro, Fifty yeah. Cent. I was like, this is fun, you know? So that's kind of how I got into that. I would love to do more acting. All right. Look at that. I love I love to hear that. I love to hear that. And now you have to maybe go back and look at Righteous Kill. <laughs> <laughs> I've been there for like two seconds, though. I mean, they had me. They, I was one of the people they chose to lead Robert De Niro and Al Pacino through the club. So we did a um, club scene. It was like 12 hours for the club scene. And it's probably in the movie, maybe five minutes. But it was so fun. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I love it. I love it. <laughs> um, okay. So 
with all this being a mom and entrepreneur being an artist a songwriter um talk about how you keep yourself balanced in the midst mm -hmm. of everything you know we obviously we we came out we're in 2021 we came from 2020 where the you know covid happened mm -hmm. you know lives we were losing lives left and right happened mm -hmm. you know um you know i pray that you know you and your family um got through um you know and still going strong mm -hmm. um talk about that you know trying to really take that all in and really balance you and then of course with everything that you know you just talked about in regarding to the domestic violence talk about you balancing you and that what keeps you centered oh that's a good question the only thing honestly keeping me centered is god um Amen. without him man i'll be lost like honestly so i pray a lot um you know i i spend a lot of time with my kids so during the quarantine and then having to deal with the the domestic violence situation at the same time like it was tough it was tough so i had to call on god and he's the only reason that i was able to get through it and then you know um just leading towards um expressing myself through writing i love to do graphic design um that type of stuff keep me busy you know um and just staying close to like the support system i have and that's kind of what keeps me going yeah amazing um and thank you so much for once again just sharing your story you mm -hmm. saying some uh some, a lot of things um to really get um other inspiring artists or entrepreneurs really thinking and moving because um someone put in here um you are a real definition oh, a woman of definition i believe i will see what was the comment um definition of a woman and you know and 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 i think that's amazing because you're a powerhouse and you and you see it you you, you vision it and you're really pursuing it um what encouragement will you give um artists who is trying to um a that may say hey i might be in a bad situation but i'm still trying to stay a hold of my dreams and really mm -hmm. you know pursue my heart's passions mm -hmm. Um, I would say never give up. I know that could sound cliche. A lot of people say it, but it's the truth. Um, if you really have your mindset on something, um, you'll figure out a way to, to make it happen or go about it, even if it doesn't happen in a time that you want it to. Um, eventually, it will. Like You'll find a way to, to, to make it happen. Um, but definitely don't give up and, and don't let others discourage you. Some people say things like, or, you know, you're too old or... or, or that doesn't sound good maybe to them that's their opinion but that's solely their opinion it doesn't have to be the way you feel or think um stay true to yourself you know never change up or switch up for anybody like those things are very important amazing i, I love that and so we, we we talked about so many upcoming things that you have uh, so what what else because you know when you have great a great mindset and a great uh, work ethic there's always something next you might be working on something that you didn't even come out yet but you're already working on the next thing so what's next for you Tammy? um well right now aside from the the ep i'm working on an animation series with uh Mouton records shout outs to my producer her middleton um and we got a we got a really good cast on there i'll be playing the character t honey myself um <laughs> And then um, we'll be working on um, inside the film. I can't give away too much, but I'll also be playing um, my brand to be in there. I have a fashion brand, something else I'm doing. Oh, <laughs> um, yeah. It's called Dope Black. Um, and so that'll be in the film. They've incorporated those two things in there. Um, so that'll definitely be out. It, we're working on it still, you know, so that that's a fun project. All right. I, I love it. And that name, Dope Black. Uh, ain't there something about being black that's just so amazing? Yeah. <laughs> and being creative. Oh, my goodness. Um, you know what? Thank you once again uh, for having this conversation and, and really uh, tuning in with us and, and telling your story. Uh, guys, once again, and, and I mean, do you want to have any dates on release of the EP and, and when you're dropping the visuals? Like, talk to us. Let us know what's, what's going on with that. <laughs> yes. Um, so I'm actually getting ready to film a, a video for Relax Me. Um, it's going to be a movie. So it's going to be cinematic, a three minute, 30 second film um, mm -hmm. just to kind of uh, uh, shed light on, you know, domestic violence. So to have every form of um, domestic violence in there, you know, it's not just domestic violence isn't just physical abuse. You know, there's all different forms of it. So we'll shed light on that. Um, and then, you know, make sure you guys go stream Relax Me um, or purchase it. You know, I love your support. 
Thank you so much for that. Now I do I have I do have one more question. So I know you said you're getting ready. Are you gonna direct it? Because you, you you seem like you have that whole directorial Yeah, I am <laughs> spirit as well. <laughs> I, yeah, love um, I love definitely. it. I love it. Go ahead, black woman. Thank yes. <laughs> Uh, so, oh my goodness, thank you once again. So guys, uh, once again, thank you so much uh, for sitting and tuning in. I really hope that you got um, a lot to, to take away from her story. Uh, once again, as we said, please, if you have not purchased stream, please, please, please go support. Um, and we definitely, uh, Tian, thank you so much once again for just coming on. I, I um, shout out to Upscale PR um, yeah, just for the connection. And, and thank you. I want to stay connected. Please, whenever you, once you drop your visual, please send it over to us. We'll be put it right up. Definitely. Well, thank you for having me. Thank you. And enjoy your evening. You too. <laughs> Bye. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in tonight. So I, this was a super dope conversation. It was very enjoyable. I, I, the one thing I loved about it, not only is talking about the music aspect, but really hearing these um stories that really, um, that really took these artists um to the point of where they are. Um, and so guys, please, that was T Honey. Um, definitely go check her out, go, you know, download, please support our artists. Um, as you know, um, we do have a Spotify music playlist. Um, you get, you need to listen to the music here, please. It's, her music is on Apple music. It's Spotify. I have it. It's there. So please definitely go support. Um, and then like she said, she's getting ready to release her newest EP pretty soon along with a visual and this is in support of domestic violence. So please guys, let's, let's, let's run it up. Let's run it up, okay? So, guys, once again, thank you for tuning in um, with me. Um, like I said, um, I am just one of your hosts, Asia Lewis Redway. Danielle was not with us tonight, but she will be back next week, guys. We're looking forward to having another yet beautiful um, Indie Talks conversation next week with a new artist. Um, so, guys, definitely check out, um, you know, stay tuned for um, the flyers and all the information that's coming up. But, guys, you already know what it is. It's nothing but what? Real music, real style, real people. We have nothing but the realest. So, guys, until next time, you already know what it is. All right? So, peace.